Hello and welcome to Mokta Talk Series. Today we're talking to Avatar Perform, Sibeli Cavalli Bastos, artist, musician, independent researcher and activist. In this talk, we will be exploring the use of Instagram filters in relation to the condition of artists in times of self-isolation and economic uncertainty. You can follow their work through Instagram stories and IGTV under at Avatar Perform with the project Avta slash D program. Enjoy the talk. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, 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 <laughs> no worries, yeah, yeah. We're just waiting to get the audio started. Oh yes, can you I hear can me now? now? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yes, I can. I was like, Whoa. oh, I'm going to use this, like, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, like, my, can I use my, um, can I use my wireless headphone? <laughs> and, like, obviously, <laughs> obviously, it didn't work. Because, like, all, all digital artists, like, you know, you try to use technology for anything other than making your art practices just malfunctions. You know, I'm actually really happy that this is actually working. Good. Yes, I can hear you. So, yeah, it's definitely yeah. working. And I can see something coming out from your forehead. What is it? Yes. Your new work? That's yes, fantastic. it's my work. I want that. <laughs> I wonder if the long press works when you're doing a live. No, it doesn't. Because, like, when you're long press, the this one you just like you can like bubbles and you can walk among them and all this and <laughs> wow how do i activate it <laughs> how can i do well, it oh my god it's so wonderful you <laughs> you already follow me so you should probably have it okay it's like there yeah it's just the okay okay if you you know That's click so on the great. little face uh, yeah yeah is it okay. disturbing that I have I'll... bubbles coming out of my mouth while I'm speaking? No, I, I absolutely love it. So please <laughs> keep them on. <laughs> I love the bubbles. I was just like emanating love bubbles from my, th my third eye. And the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. So great. Okay. <laughs> How are you, by the way? Thank you for um, joining me tonight. It's great to talk to you. Pleasure. Pleasure to join you. Uh, I've just been, uh, I've been trying, like, I think like everybody else, you know, trying to do my best to keep myself focused but you know just grounded I, I've been more than ever you know I always do like a little ritual in the morning I even have an IGTV that I did about this because uh, mm -hmm. I feel like it's regardless of what's happening now even before but now more than ever I think it's important that we ground ourselves before we look at any news you know because before it would be before other people's lives coming into your mind and all the cues of the world you know mm -hmm. and we're already like working so much and all this so but now it's, I think it's really more important than ever uh, for a million other reasons that before you start your day, you ground. Create a mini ritual however you find fit for you, but like try to, you know, you, you were logged out from, from your avatar interface mm -hmm. for a bunch of hours while you were asleep. So you're, you're entering this dimension. <laughs> Back. We're, we're back. back. <laughs> we're back. I'm trying to get my around. Let me find a theater here. Okay. Oh, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna do Kaku as an homage to the internet working funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um oh my god, it's missing a head of folder and I can't even fix it. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyways anyways so tell so, me how to, how to add the filters on the camera because i don't know how to do it there is a little face there look on at the, the little face Can yeah on the oh yeah you should okay. there you ah. go <laughs> it's on the video yes library. okay hey, I'm okay on. i'm on <laughs> game on game on oh so, no, no that's not it fun. oh Find, find okay. your filter. I'll have a little play with this after. Have a little play. So basically, so I told them that. I was like, you know, it's the beginning of a new field and it's very different than just looking at a photo. You know, this is something that's just like a song, you know, and I come from music. You know, I used to make albums, I have four albums out and whatever. And like, 
so you get royalties because people can play the song again. They're yeah. using it. This is a similar thing. People can use the filter again, and then we don't get any royalties from it. We get nothing. So, but like, when you're about adding, I mean, I'm I'm not sure if filters can be added as a as an NFT on the blockchain, for example. I don't know if you no, thought about no. that or tried. Or... I have no idea. In that. And I was like, uh, it's very tied to Facebook and to Instagram. But what I did when you're talking about, like I said, to do a Patreon, like I made a Patreon ages ago, kind of like suggesting that, like, if you like my filters, then you can like, like you can give like from $1 or something. I did something like this, like from $1 to 5 10 20 whatever. And, and I think maybe it's time that again, like the creators really put Patreons out there for people that have been, uh, you know, wearing and using our filters and like having fun with them for example this is super funny this is not mine but like this is fucking hilarious i know it doesn't <laughs> do anything if i'm not oh, wow. <laughs> i'm gonna use vv's this is my friend viv <laughs> or you know like we've we've been wearing we've been wearing each other's uh we've been wearing each other's filters and is this one gonna crash okay no, this is a very intense filter from a friend of mine that was just about to crash the whole conversation. I'll go back to this one. <laughs> so, uh, so that people, you know, like if you've been, you've been using the filters of somebody and you really like them, send whatever to their PayPal. Send a, like one euro, one dollar, one pound, one yen, <laughs> whatever whatever any you currency. can you know <laughs> any currency we take anything <laughs> no it's like it's, yeah because we don't make money anywhere and now it's really a time that we need to be have a solidarity and share in mm -hmm. you know the wealth and all this and then share, mm -hmm. share our economy and also to those creators not just creators but also to educate you somewhat that have helped you understand the world or yourself you know better because not all of us have our patreon out or our paypal out like for example me i've been working avidly with this but i have i have to admit that i suck at promotion self-promotion and all of this or trying you know i just yeah it's just very confusing yeah. for me <laughs> um, I'm doing enough, best. you know, you, know you, you just don't only have artist skills but you also have to be good at promoting yourself which you may oh, yeah. not be the best skill you know and especially so nowadays <laughs> before this especially before just now but also now more than ever you know oh yeah 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 like, now more than ever you know you but have i feel to like now multitasking yeah. and trying to find your ways of still keep creating um art if you want to mm. call it like that you know or, or find your way to yeah. you know uh, what you like to express and share with the rest of yeah, the world yeah. but still having food to, to eat or yeah. money and also and also so. like a lot of us are operating online you know it's just frustrating that tech giants can't do anything like haven't done anything well you know, you know there's like oh my god they're sitting in so much money right now with like digital they could art, be doing you know, something like many artists creating art and putting on the blockchain and then trading mm -hmm. NFTs as um ERC 71 or you know and yeah. i think in a way it has its own economy even though it hasn't been booming yet or you know you, you could say yeah. that in a way there is a, an economy around uh crypto collectibles or or digital assets as a as a non-fungible asset, but at the same time, there's so much digital art, as you were saying, for example, the filters, that don't find the same way of um, getting the support from the community. So this is actually a call out to anyone out there that if you know of ways of um, monetizing filters or supporting artists, I think, you know, uh, uh, supporting people by donating, it's great. But I also think that should be a more structure in place. I don't need you again. Oh, okay. I can. Try really fading is that would be a great one. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Like, um, but, but I, uh, oh. I made this one as tools of boredom. Like, boredom is important meditation. But anyways, I feel like as there
there is no structure. Like, there is no structure for anybody, artist, mm -hmm. to working digitally to self-sustain digital asset that you can enjoy and that you can use and that you can appreciate. And the time like now, think about if you can support so that's been doing things that you appreciate, do it. I think there's also like, like a full um, impression that, you know, if you're doing well on Instagram because you have many followers or you know, you've got your filters out there because, you know, it's free marketing or whatever, uh, it means you're doing well. And I should say that I know so many people that that Instagram account is like bursting with followers that they are living at the bare minimum. Yeah. And they're still working really, really hard to, to remain creative and keep creating uh, digital art. So I think that is also, that also needs, needs to be addressed you know that that doesn't always mean for um, sure for sure having followers does not mean that you can monetizing and this is one thing that i was talking also about in the sparky art group because in the beginning they were paying us <laughs> oh my god like i have a, i have a whole like history with lives you know just like on it just basically not working. I think there's so <laughs> many people being online these days that it's just oh. know, the internet is getting overwhelmed. <laughs> Even before for me, it's just like historically. Good morning. <laughs> it's just <laughs> historically. Anyway, it's just so you ask how I was doing. Basically, it's this. So every morning, like trying to like do the exercise connect with my body like open up myself to create like the room outside mm -hmm. of thought you know so that i can welcome intuition you know because insight comes the moment when you're not thinking and right now i think we really need to open up that space for insight because for many reasons you know because when you open up that space you nurture yourself and right now we need a lot of nurturing we need a lot of fucking grounding yeah so that we can yeah. work with each other and help and the insight is fundamental in order just to follow the intuition and be able to understand like what are the attitudes to take now now like be it in terms of solidarity but well for you know just active ways of staying afloat and because we're going to have mm -hmm. to reconfigure everything like how we're doing our practices is how we are we are being in the world with each other we have no fucking clue like <laughs> where the next money yeah. is coming from or what the economy even will be you yeah. know like the start of the yesterday yeah, I don't yeah. even know you know it's hard to know everyone has had everything cancelled so we don't know I know so we're really I think gonna... everyone will be will be changed after this like inevitably we'll all have to find new ways of um, oh, yeah. arranging our lives connecting with each other and and you know in a way I find that we'll be better people I hope. I want to I, hope that this will... I'm already, I'm already in this. I don't mm. know. Like, I, I, I see this like, around me. in the streets, you know. I see people wanting to help and I see messages left to elderly ones if they need help, mm -hmm. but for anyone who needs support. So I do hope that after this tragic situation, everyone will be yeah. more human. Yeah, it's often the case that you need something that tragic in order to shock you out of your performance of self to shock you out mm -hmm. of your selfishness you know to shock you just to shock you out of this, mm -hmm. like this is why i talk about deprogramming so much to come out of this algorithmic being borderline psychopathic from this patriarchal society where we don't feel each other we're just like on that fucking <laughs> algorithm to yeah. make do and whatever sometimes it, it, like it's usually that like you know you see films you know people going through horrible situations and then it is you know they, they bond so we're going through like uh, yeah. A very intense bonding experience you know we're being made to reflect you know what we're doing what we're doing with ourselves what we're doing with our lives and i think we all needed yeah. that i've so uh, um, this go on sorry <laughs> no sorry there's a bit of delay in the audio so i'm sorry for overlapping with you but i what i wanted to share is that i've been you know speaking to friends and artists and what i found is that everyone now wants to you know, slow down, reconnect um, with with your inner self and find time where you really discover 
who you are, what you want to do. And I was talking to somebody in States who was telling yeah. me, I now have to find a way to learn who I am because, you know, this person hasn't known, I think, who they were for so many years mm -hmm. and sort of forgot, you know, the, the, the meaning of staying on this planet and what they wanted to do. So I think it's so important that we find ways of um, connecting with with ourselves because we are self-isolating most of us so you might have to spend a lot of long time but also how to connect with others through different medias like you know we're talking now so that's an interesting uh, way of of uh, creating these kind of communications how, how have you finding it how have you been finding it think, so far i think there's a beautiful thing that happens with uh, self-isolation which is you go far enough to the bottom of yourself when you find out that the self is just, you know, you end up connecting with everyone. You end up coming to the actual self. That's the collective self. You mm -hmm. know? Because if you think in terms of selfhood, who you are, you know, usually you're an, an idea mm -hmm. about yourself. If you, like, you know, and no. I think we're having plenty of time to engage with this because you're being left alone. And, you, and you're being left to those questions. So it's like, why am I here? Who am I? Why do I lie? And you try and you start unearthing things. And I think once you enter in that process, a lot of stuff gets undone, you know. In a way, like when I talk, for example, deprogramming, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that self-inquiry. Like I've been working all these years to try to like... <laughs> <laughs> get this going Make and, like, and then walk up and then, yeah and also like, you know, like to 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 like come out of this performative self and like and, and and just like come out of this algorithmic behavior and become more empathetic like this is like i dedicate my whole self and practice to this so funny because i woke up and i've been seeing so many nice things over that I'm like, oh, I think I need to change my job now because the virus rolled up and, like, <laughs> and it's just pushing people into it now. You know, you have no alternative because also like when you, I, I always found that, found super liberating situations where you don't know what the fuck's going on because yeah. it gives you a freedom. It's like no one knows what's going to be after this. No one no. knows. Like, do you? Like, no one. Like, you, like I, <laughs> like it's impossible to see. It's faithful. It's profound. It's it's like, no one no. And we're all being it's, made to relate. Yeah. So it's like, it's it's just that. So that in itself, I find very liberating in terms of like readdressing. Then, what do you want to do with yourself? Like, are you being yourself? Are you being? You know, yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. up? I think you know like... it's like facing the the unknown, and um, and it you know it brings challenges. But at the same time, as you were saying, you know, is uh, it's liberating because you can be anything you want to be, and anything you haven't allowed maybe yourself to be within the society that we've constructed for so many years, yeah. and so you're born into this system, this economy, and so you are. Um, bound to 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 label yourself, you know. To yeah, being a, a product of money. this economy. Yeah, so you just exactly it. You're played by the system in a way, and I think this is a time where not even leaders know what to say, what to do. What we're told every day on the news keeps, to watch. <laughs> keeps changing. You know, I was watching because um, I'm in London right now, and I was watching the BBC because at five we get a speech by Boris Johnson every day, mm -hmm. and um, you know he was. I don't know. I found him sort of shaking, or anything that was said yesterday sort of changed today. Um, so it is very unpredictable, and I think you know because it's um, an unprecedented, um, you know, situation. Everyone is sort of planning ahead, but with no plans, with no real plans. I'll be curious to, to, to see or to read if people want to share anything. Please feel free to. to... Yeah, write it down. Join the conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like, you know, in one hand, you know, we all have been gaslit, you know, been fire hosed by government. And so for so long, it's really hard to even know if they are dumb. This is why they've been acting like they've been acting or if it's intentional. It's, it's just like, it's hard. It's hard to know because in the end of the day, it's also humans mm. panicking. You know, they're yes. also humans they're panicking. They're Everyone also humans. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, 
with, and it's pretty obvious, not like I said, it's just obvious. It's like, it's impossible to know how things are going to be. And there is a tremendous power in there because it's a full collapse, whether we like it or not. There will be, of course, tons of uh, powers trying to resist whatever is happening, but it will never be the same. Already mm -hmm. knowing that it will never be the same, there is something we can do. Of course, it can get much worse because people can use this to like, institute like proper fascism and all of this, but I feel like... Mm -hmm. Uh, this is governments will probably try to do this, but people are trying to do something else. And that's been giving me like a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. Same, same. Yeah. And I know that you are, you know, in contact with so many fellow artists and I wanted to know how you think the, the communities are responding to, to this situation. How are people coming together in terms of supporting each other? What's your um, understanding of that? I mean, there is so much support, like people, like it's been really moving to see, you know, like how many people are trying to do something, you know, however mm -hmm. it is. And I think like, for example, I had a, ch a chat with a friend of mine that for a moment was criticizing what I was saying about, let's all just put our PayPal's out, whoever from the most privileged, to the least privileged from the, you know, da, da, da. Um, and I said, you know, and it was like, I'd rather do something constructive, blah. I was like, it's important. You do what you find constructive. And mm -hmm. I do this strategy because I have a reason for it, which I will explain. Um, mm -hmm. And all the strategies, but like basically all these strategies coming together, this pluralism of action is really important because, you know, we, like I said, it's, we don't know what's going to work. We don't know what's going to be. So therefore we don't know exactly what's going to work. And so whoever's having the insight and trying, some people are trying for immediate relief. Some trying, so like there's all kinds of things. So for example, my strategy with what I started of, with the solidarity and, and PayPal's, like my PayPal, like from everyone, is because I noticed that there is a lot of shame and there is a lot of taboo in talking about it. I tried to do this, this actually mm -hmm. last year as well, but there wasn't a situation so hardcore that it worked. It was more, I was just trying to make it be a thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, like, uh, we, we <laughs> how things are gonna be. And um, like, I just feel like, there's so much shame to ask for help and there's so much shame to just to you know just to even talk about money and this taboo in talking about money talking about money to each other and appearing vulnerable to each other in this society of branding where everybody's fronting on instagram like nothing wrong mm -hmm. with me nothing wrong because you have to pretend that you're at 100% yeah. the whole time. Otherwise, your price goes down. Like yeah. this shit, you know? Yeah. And what I find fabulous is like now that this has happened, fuck it. You don't have to perform that shit anymore, okay? Just like saying this, yeah. you don't have to. We don't have to pretend. That's I mean, people very won't be there anyway. People won't be there. It's just whatever. Or we'll know. Yeah. Like you can see. But also, depending on what people post on the memes, you know who's well and who's not. You know, like for example, somebody that's really poor is not going to post a meme that says after quarantine looking fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You of know, course. are you going to yes, be no. fat or do you have food to get fat in your quarantine? Yeah. You know, there's things like this. But what I, what, one of the reasons I've been advocating to, to have our PayPal's out the whole time. So is one is like so that there's no stigma. You know my PayPal, I know your PayPal or Venmo or Cash App or whatever. We all know each other because we have it. We have it. It's open. You know, I would like to see business cards mm -hmm. with the name, with everything. So we are constantly um, giving value to each other now. If you think about how, like, mm -hmm. in this society, like, the way we're existing online and everything, like, so there are companies profiting on us being online. And there's also, we can't deny that there is this subjective capital, like, happening. And the other thing is that I feel like very likely if things go as bad as sometimes I think they can get, we will need to take care of each other. So we will need to have a fucking address book with everyone's PayPal because I find it very unlikely that, argue, that governments will be able to take care of everyone. And also governments yeah. will take care of people that are registered, that have their tax number, well, that declare you know, tax, I've been thinking. that are... A million yeah. things. So, like, yeah, for example, yeah, yeah. I'm here in Germany. What happens in Berlin? A lot of people can't get uh, an apartment or a room that has Anmeldung, which is the registration that allows you to get a tax number. Yeah. So a lot of people exist in the gray zone. 
By the way, mm-hmm. today, like, I just only got this place with Coco, and, like, we haven't done, so we're not really even registered here. Like, we tried to go register today, mm-hmm. but the program was closed. So people that are not registered, like, are we going to get help? We don't know, mm-hmm. you know? So I it's think like it's you don't important. exist, you know, you're not on any It's register. like you don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, nowhere. Yeah. So it's like, and you know, the amount of people just, you know, living on the street or having difficulties as they had before now is going to be even worse. You know, the, who's going to look after them? How are you going to know saying, where these people are? Like, I'm super so, privileged in this situation still. I at least have a roof over my head. You know, so many yeah, people do same, so. that, are in, that, that are in the gray area, but like, there's a lot of a lot going on so i really mm-hmm. uh i really feel like we will be, we will need to be circulating whatever we have amongst ourselves and trust also that for example somebody sends me some money if i don't need it i send it to you mm-hmm. if you don't need it you send it to somebody else but that we mm-hmm. somehow circulate everything so this is why i've been doing this i just want to get rid of the stigma i got quite a bunch of messages of people like oh my god but i'm so embarrassed to ask for money and blah, 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 you know, let's start. Like, we really need to fucking yeah. get down now. I think there's no shame in, um, in sharing uh, your, your address and asking for what you need. I mean, we're in a time now where we need to survive. And I, no. I, I'll, I'll share my experience from today. I woke up at five. I set on my alarm and I thought, okay, I'll go out and get some food shopping because, um, you know, my food is getting really, really low and I don't have any um, flour or pasta or rice and, or, you know, very little to, for the next couple of days. But I thought, okay, I'll get some more. I went to different five, to five different supermarket and couldn't find anything at all. So I managed to get some very little f- food that is not going to last me more than a couple of days and this is the situation and i saw so many um you know older people than myself struggling and going around the same route um in a loop you know trying in the hope that a food delivery would come um and this is the current situation now in london and it's dramatic because I don't know what's going to happen. And, um, you know, of course, my family in Italy is worried about me, but I'm worried about them as well um, of because course. of the craziness that is happening in Italy. I know people that don't even have enough, um, you know, equipment to work in hospitals. And so actually yeah. Domenico is connecting here has managed to find some some um, masks for doctors in, in Naples to, to share oh, with God. the hospitals. So everyone is sort of trying their best. Um, but it's, it is tragic, you know, I'm, as you said, we are privileged in a way because at least we've got a roof. Um, but if we're thinking about art and what we could do during these times, um, oh, yeah. you know, like my, my next question to you would be, how do you think your art practice will be informed by what it's happening right now? And how do you think it will be, you know, changing or perhaps even embracing what is happening and and transforming into art i i mean it's been a while since i've been thinking along the lines of what a tutor once said to another student at the rca when i was there and that that got mm-hmm. relayed to me talking to her like she was having a block of creativity and she said that mm-hmm. he said to her when you're having a block don't think you're making art just make right and mm-hmm. so it's been a while that I don't think about making art in terms of I'm making an art. It's more like mm-hmm. I am being. I am. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> making. It's not even I am. It's just like flowing through. Like stuff is flowing through yeah. my conscious and it's coming out. And I'm using it like some kind of title to understand like what's happening in the collective subconscious or myself or whatever. But more than ever. already two years that my practice pretty much became an activist practice and i use a lot of um seduction so it's art i'd rather just be like da 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 which i count but i think um i think for like especially mm-hmm. in practice about yeah, like the role of the wholesome and the role of the fantasy and the laughter and the humor you know memes you know humor to like fucking stay afloat 
and all the stuff. But I don't know. I I choose not to think so much about it. Like the other day, I just said, I think I'm I was gonna, I'm going I'm still gonna make it. You know, another scene sculpture, uh, a art piece. Mm -hmm. But now we just had the news yesterday that Spark AR is not publishing anything anymore, which also made a lot of us panic because, you know, as artists, Spark AR really helped us survive because we make our art and we publish it, but we also can do commissions for other people mm -hmm. and pay mm -hmm. for our life. And that has helped me greatly and many other artists that we know in the same mm -hmm. way now that are doing a lot of AR. And suddenly everyone yesterday devastated because it was the one chance I was like, this is the one thing <laughs> we're holding on. Like, this is the holding. one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, like, had the shittiest day yesterday. Like, like sad. Like, like this hard. And not just for me, but for people, like, for my other friends. And all the friends that are not artists, that are just AR creators, that are just doing the commissions. And I know that that's the only money that they get. But um, I don't know. Also, when thinking about art, it's like art for whom, you know? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like art for whom? Like what kind of art for whom? Like what are we doing? Like I've been with this question for ages as well. Like I, I used to be with a blue ship gallery up until nearly two, like a year and a half ago, is it? Or something? I think a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Since I left. First of all, I took a year like detoxing and because, mm -hmm. because it's just, it's just, you know, this is a whole other life to do, <laughs> to talk about mm -hmm. that world. Yeah. And um, so more than ever, I think, you know, then already I was like, art for whom, for what? Like, to, like you know, fancy decoration, mm. thoughtful, fancy, we speculative like decoration. That, uh... Like, like for I the purpose know. of art or for what people yeah, would purpose. like to I see? Yeah, purpose. I don't know. I'm just, maybe yeah. I'm just too much of a, you know, I don't know. Um, how do you call it? I don't know. I just, I'm just very, like, like I say even, like, my practice mm -hmm. is on the intersection mm -hmm. of sight, occasion, <laughs> and purpose. Like, for whom, when, why? what is it doing mm -hmm. and then i will engage like however what 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 situation is happening how do i want to address that you know there is one that does this and then there's the other side of the tarot for me which is when i'm generates for example a lot of the painting work and a lot of the sculpture a lot of the abstract stuff is just basically me engaging with either exercises to mm -hmm. conditioning so picking random colors without consciously choosing them and <laughs> find harmony and just kind of following the flow of things so it may look like it's just like wow color composition but it's actually an exercise it's just me trying to clear the space yeah. for intuition and understand more so that then the art that is on the occasion site and purpose can be more effective because then i will understand what's happening with the world how i want to address these issues so i feel like that's that's just gonna get, get heightened but also at the same time as being locked up i've been thinking a lot about like a space of dealing with materials be them digital be them physical be them digital you know when you have trackers and things even it's a space that creates a room for that thing that i was saying again that intuition to come through and then for you to understand how to proceed right now you know in the situation so i think that i hope that's a good <laughs> but if it's too long an answer but no 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 absolutely i mean what, <laughs> in a way i think that digital art you know it will be more accessible and even more creative and even more mm. daring you know because i think a lot mm, of things have sure. been done i just um, wish you could with an aesthetic in mind rather than a purpose, as you were saying. Um, and I think this, I hope this will change. It will be more like a, you know, a, a process of what people go through. And so what is then created, what's the final outcome is more um, connected, related to the artist and to what's happening right now. So kind of like uh, responding to the current situation. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh, I, I yeah. don't hear you. Okay, I hear you now. I think there'll be other stuff. I think there'll be other. Like, that... I see a lot of data, like a mm. lot of like surreal like, stuff come out of mm. the system and stuff. But I'm really sad also about the, yeah. stuff, the Spark not publishing anymore because like I was really hoping to make things for people to have a good time now. <laughs> But what's you know, the plan? Like, is there anything been announced? I don't know. What's going to happen we next? We don't know. Uh, they said they said no publishing filters to the unforeseeable future. However. I, I realize that there is one loophole because usually mm -hmm. when you upload a filter to go through the approval process, you can get a test link up mm. to 50 tests a day. So I'm thinking about making some stuff and then just like dropping a test link and like 50 people can play with it and, and then next day mm -hmm. another 50 and just kind of try to like reboot that. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's a way, that's, that's thing, something that, that we can do. Idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know that can be mm -hmm. fun and like and also i'd like to say here too uh because like filter creators don't earn anything from these like there's nothing really Facebook makes okay this is nothing. something for example i was going to ask you because i i didn't know i don't know much about it i love the filters nothing, and i think it's so nothing, playful but how do you get rewarded nothing at all work? oh i'm Nothing. We need to find a way. <laughs> Nothing at all. We need to find a Nothing way. Nothing at all. I think, I think we really need to find a way. I'm trying to find another filter of mine here, like, just to change, not to have bubbles come out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to make friends. <laughs> no, we, we really need to, we really need to, oh, here, okay. I'm going to have, oh, okay, this one. Oh, I like Inter this. I tried that. I tried yeah. that before. Yeah, I was trying to tap it on. There's also this one, which is nice. Mm -hmm. The... And also to the people watching, <laughs> um, please feel free to share your thoughts, comments, or questions. Yeah. We'll be happy to, to have a chat about it. Yeah, so Actually, basically... Actually, a question for everyone watching. If you know a way, or if you would like to discuss a way on how we should support artists earning from filters, please share it. <laughs> Be yeah, good to because discuss. Like, uh, like I brought up this discussion with Facebook several times. Uh -huh. Also, uh, you know, the cake and fans also did. And we were at Facebook for this hackathon as well. So we were like face to face, you know, to them, like, you have to do something. Because, yeah, we, 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 um, we, we make nothing, you know. We yeah. earn but nothing, they definitely nothing get benefits, you know. They, they get, get absolute benefit. benefit. Yeah. They get absolute benefit. And we end up working, you know, I've been thinking a lot about the, the issue of like forced digital labor. And I, there are some, even some highlights of mine talking about this where everyone is doing forced digital labor already in the sense that, you know, at the end of your day, you ha you, you're having to go to your friend to hit a like or leave a comment on something you don't even like just to avoid your algorithmic death and your friend's algorithmic death. And this generates data for them to make yeah. money on us, you know, and that's fucked. Like it's, it's, and yeah. also making everybody, you know, in that system they were talking about of the performance and it's just fucking everybody's mental health up, everybody being cornered into self, like in self exposure the whole time. Like you're having to be there because also you want to get engagement. What, it's also addictive. No, but no. not addictive, but also if you want engagement, you have to be like, Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to get your face out. You have to get your body out. You know, it's still patriarchal gaze, no matter whatever the fuck you do. But there's only so, so much to do you can show unless... Uh, otherwise you get blocked. Say, oh, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to, you know. Like, for example, I lost a ton of followers since the beginning of the, of the filters because, like, I'm continuing the same. Like, some people came for it and, like... Mm -hmm. But if you want to keep people, you better be posting your fucking face, like, the whole time and be, like, performing this thing. And then it's super gendered, too. Like, I don't know. And so, anyways, um, I've been thinking, I was talking to them saying, like, yo, you have to give us some kind of royalty. It's like in the beginning yeah. of the music industry. Yeah. There was yeah. nothing. Like, in the beginning of the, the music hey. industry. Okay. We're hey. back. We're <laughs> back. Oh, we're back. Okay, so, where were we? I, I think the so, last... I don't know, I was saying that follower I count, fo follower, follower count, follower count, mm -hmm. it's a type of money, it's a type of capital that they invented, that they created, 
that doesn't necessarily translate to money for people because there's a few things there. It's like, first of all, one, you must be able and willing to enter the game mm -hmm. of monetization through follower count, which means engagement, performance of self, all kinds of like, you know, like... <laughs> It's a game, you know. I feel that in the you know, all this. And like, not, not everybody knows how to do that as well. And not everybody yeah. wants to do that. And like, for example, I, I've struggled with it, you know. For example, for me, follower count means visibility, means more activism, means like more responsibility. This is what I think about. You know, it's not like, hey, what? you know. <laughs> Of course, if I, you know, if I get offered something to do out of the follower account, some kind of influence or whatever, as if, if it's aligned with what I'm talking about, if mm -hmm. it's aligned with the narrative, because I'm a fan of like parasitization and using piggybacking on these, mm -hmm. obviously, <laughs> on yeah. these giants to insert a message. Okay, great. But like, it has to come to me too. Like, it's not like I go out, you know for the stuff but a lot of people don't know how to do it and this is the thing like you see people with a fuck ton of followers like not a single cash like nothing and i remember also even in music before when i was um like when i was sibeli the cis girl singer being around people in music i remember people around me that were like quite known quite famous not a fucking money Because it's expensive also. People don't think about it. Also, like when you're an artist, it's expensive to be an artist. I know. And, and it's expensive to have integrity. Integrity is expensive. This is a phrase by a friend of mine, Tedrox. Like, at Tedrox. A super young, amazing artist photographer. Part, uh, one half of Limitrofi Television. Maybe you can Limitrofi. share the, the name. I'll, I'll share, the actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll share Tedrox. Let me write it down. Thank you. Tedrox. And I'm also going to share the other half of Limitrophy Television, which is Limitrophy. Thank you. So, um, Pedrox always says, you know, integrity is expensive. If you really, in this society, if you really want to maintain your integrity, that means you, you need it's expensive. You need to be you able, to, be able to, to afford it. it. And like, or you're going to, you go through like mini hells, you know, which... Yeah. <laughs> I've done several times you know I just no, I'm just good at makeup and like keeping my spirits up <laughs> I, I was having a, a chat with another artist based in Turkey and, and he was saying how difficult it is for him to and his partner to produce art to make art that makes sense to them and they were saying that they are not so much willing to accept commissions unless is in line with what they do. Um, mm -hmm. And the struggle they leave, you know, they're lucky enough to have collectors that like that art um, abroad. Yeah, so they yeah, yeah, yeah. still get a living. Uh, but otherwise, in their own country, it will be nearly forbidden to display that art because most of the things they publish or they put out yeah. there, it gets taken down because there's too much nudity or it's too provocative provocative or political mm -hmm. so in a way as you were saying you know to remain with integrity to, yeah with integrity and close to what you feel and you want to share with people is is ethos morals and ethics thing. ethos to yeah. maintain ethos but mm -hmm. what i'm have like getting back to the virus what i'm enjoying is that we're entering the land of ethos now mm -hmm. and we can see who we are, we can see who people are, and you can really see the ethos situation and and, and I feel like it's more yeah. <laughs> it's forcing that out. It's forcing that out. Like if even if you didn't have it, you're kind of like learning to do it. We're learning as a society. People that don't know, now you're learning at least. You know. I think there's no guidelines on what we should be or how we should behave among each other because all the um, constructed um, behaviors, you know, are missing right now because all we think about, all we care about is surviving, I suppose. Yeah. It's the number one worrying for everyone. And then I think reconnecting to, to, to ourselves and to others as human yeah. beings. 
Yeah, yeah, no, the, 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 the products, you know, products yeah, of the, society that wants us to be in a certain way, to put, to play in a certain way, and no, who has energy to perform right now? Yeah. For I what? Don't. For whom? <laughs> like, why? Fuck that! Yeah. Fuck that! Like, what? Perform? And also, Pretend? What, what's the point? You know, what's, what's the, the point? Thing? What like, is it gonna bring you? Is it gonna bring you fame, money? No. And what a money. But, no, <laughs> and also like fame, fame. Fame. What are you gonna do with fame right now? Yeah. Like, yeah. do you ever thought about what it is to to call fame to you? There's a difference between admiration, mm -hmm. like a valid admiration, because what you do is something constructive that makes people feel a certain way, whatever, and just fame. Mm -hmm. Like fame for fame's sake, which is like. Yeah, arrow pointed. Yeah, like arrow pointed. Like there is no space there for the other. <laughs> it's like there's no. Mm -hmm. So it's just like looking for fame right now. Like what are you even doing? Like that's not even. Like can you eat fame? I'm not sure. Uh, can you can you can you be cooperative in that? Like is that? I don't know. But I think we're also going to evaluate what money means because even now that most currencies are dropping so badly, you know, it's like. Was it worth having our lives locked up in an office for so many hours, you know, putting away wealth to do what? To buy a new house or to to be played? Yeah. Again, you know, to be to be a card in in a game that society is playing. Or it is very. I think is I think I think game. I think there's a lot of people that are in for a very good existential crisis right now. Hmm a very necessary existential crisis. Like I had a conversation yesterday, no, today actually, that I thought was really interesting. And somebody close to me, like around, like, like blood bound, you know, mm -hmm. that we've had a lot of differences and, and like that seemed to me more focused on this like accumulation and, you know, of wealth and whatever. Or like dedication to work, like very much in the system, you know, when the person's like clogged, you know, when you talk to someone and, you, and they look like they're like, like clogged in their minds, you know, it's not, it's not that they're, they're not a bad person. They're not meaning badly. They mean well, but they are like stuck into the thing. And suddenly you're talking to them and they taught their tone of voice just changed. Like this person's tone of voice was completely different. Mm -hmm. It was a bit anxious, but it was at least alive. You know, it was like, mm -hmm. Like, it's as if they were like shocked out of something and that really was moving for me I was like wow mm -hmm. this is amazing like this person is legit like has been shocked out of the system of like oh my god I need to make money I need to make my career I need to accumulate and I need to make sure that for my family like below me or you know they're just like why are we doing this like what yeah. for like what like you know it's funny i like again with pedrox that i cited before of integrity is expensive we were talking about I was, I was talking about like the time when i when i was having a career in music and i saw clearly that there was a moment where either i went in completely and then i would be like sibeli like you know because yeah. brazil it was like happening if i had an album portuguese or whatever there was a moment where i felt like Mm -hmm. Now is a moment that if I go in, I go in and then it's going to be that. Then it's this, this you know. Mm -hmm. And I found that super scary. And, uh, and then I was talking about like, just how I had misunderstood something, I think, at that point of like, it's not about being against uh, having some sort of wealth. When you have some sort of wealth, you can help. You know, and there were times recently that I had regretted. I was like, fuck, like, what? <laughs> Why did I do that? It wasn't even about me. It was more about, like, I'm just seeing a bunch of, like, Brazilian baby queers coming to Berlin, escaping this fucking psychopathic president of our country. And I just really wish I could, foot, like, I wish, that, you know, there's a moment I was like, I wish I was, like, sitting on a pile of cash that I could just be like, right, here you go, here you go, here's rent, like, let's go, let's go. Yeah. And I really yeah anyways yeah i think you know if you have that opportunity to help others being themselves more or support them through difficult times just to find their way out please do it because yeah it do it. a hell of a lot for people 
And, yeah. you know, I had, I went through different lives within my life because um, I, I, my backgrounds were so different. I trained in the, in the military air force when I was only 17 and I was like, you know, that's wow. what granddad did. And I was like, yes, I'm going to become a pilot. And I had wow. a career, you know, my dad was like, yes, make sure you pursue that. And then I went into drama school. And so, you know, my family was like, oh, okay, so are you mad or what? Are you uh, not wanting to have a career that's going to I want to know myself, or... family. <laughs> <laughs> but my family was okay with it. But, you know, at the beginning it was a bit of a shock. But then I went through so many different, you know, periods in my life, and 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 who I am right now is is I don't even know, you know, it's like a combination of all these things. But it helped me finding a way. And what I do now, like with the with Mokda as a project, you know, we want to build a museum that is primarily based online and support artists creating digital art like yourself, mm -hmm. you know finding the wrong way of, of exhibiting and experimenting and, and connecting with others in a way that is sustainable because what would the future will look like? We don't know. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's kind the of- The ground like, is fertile. Talk about it and find ways. So I'm really happy to have these conversations and that's one of the reasons why I've decided to chat with people every day and learn from others and share these content um and, uh, and that's already doing something for everyone just that you know we are here sharing our thinking and this is giving you know it's a moment of also shared wealth mm -hmm. you know yeah that at least you know we're putting some some thoughts out there that people can agree or not or have another insight from that and we're circulating another type of wealth right now as well yeah, and, and I like, think you know, and and, and and like and like do what we can, you know. It's like oh, this the solidarity is not just the money, you know. It's like yeah, it's, exactly. That's what I was to say. It's not just about the money. It's also it's, about it's organization. It's sharing thoughts and feelings and like just you know. I thought it was so cute. So many people like big big artists also doing meditation online with people like mm -hmm. little guy did a meditation and I saw my friend Colin Self guy did a meditation as well. There's a lot of wonderful things happening. I am very positive overall, I have to say. Like, it looks really horrible. I think, like, I am, I am a very positive person taking into account a lot of horrible things along the way. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like it's going to get really fucked up before it gets nice. But it will get nice. Yeah. It'll get good. We're, you know, we needed it. I feel like, you know, yeah. the Earth's, Earth's immune system is... Uh, you know, giving us a kick in the butt. <laughs> mm. And also it's like, think about this, like the universe and the earth with consciousness going like, right, what do we do to wake up these people? Let's try this. Okay, so they're like, let's try oh, tsunami. Let's no, it didn't work. Let's try yeah. earthquake. No, it didn't work. Let's send the children talking. The kids talk about climate. No, it didn't happen. They're like, hey, yo, not happening. What we that do. That was crazy. You know, I was reading. Not uh, happening. Okay, yeah, send virus. And, send virus. Yeah. And then. Like, yeah, it was like what Greta Thunberg could have managed to do to achieve the coronavirus did, you know, which is yeah. terrible to, to say, but in a way, the pollution has gone so much better and the air is breathable. Like in London, like you've got a clean sky and I can breathe and I'm finally like enjoying, I would say going out, but I'm not going out, but at least opening my window. <laughs> um, but you know, that's why it's just, yeah, like you know, we cleared canals of Venice. It's just we have to go this far. People we're caring for each crazy. other. And also, I f I'm finding particularly interesting and low key hilarious. Uh, oh no, is it dropping? Okay. And like no, watching no, no. these governments that are like coming in, like they're like right wing, conservative, blah, blah, blah. And then like, no, never gonna do this stuff. And then virus is like, Corona is just like, <laughs> socialism what like, is that you all look the same to me <laughs> I, I mean I, yeah like actually I need to use a filter that I haven't used in ages from a Brazilian creator <laughs> fantastic yeah you know it's like yeah I mean what coronavirus yeah it's okay, is it real yeah 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 
what impressed me is that you know people over here there was this thing that um you know we need to get immunity everyone has to go through the virus and you know become immune and i've got a friend from huan that said to me well you know i've been getting the virus twice now and i've recovered twice now and i think immunity you know they can just yeah no there's there's nothing guaranteeing I mean, we don't know what this is gonna be like, and I'm not a doctor, so I can't really say much, but I I take experience from people that, you know, had the virus twice already, and and it doesn't oh, look really? like it's getting well, any better, you know? Mm, yeah. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is... Uh... <laughs> what is this? Burning with a cup of coffee. Yeah, I know this meme or just like, I'm fine. <laughs> like everything is burning, like I'm okay. As long as you've got your cup of tea, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good, <laughs> you know, it's all good. It's all good. Like, let me see if this one's going to load. Oh Ooh. yeah, here we are. Here we are. Where is it? Which one showing? are you? Oh, here I am. You're speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm speaking. I'm speaking here. Um, <laughs> the nation. <laughs> speaking the to the nation to the world like just keep Tell loving each other a, and we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen take this time to find yourself and figure out what you like what you are understand what is a you even you know what is it you know and uh yeah it's a good time it's a horrible painful time which is also a good time mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I have to stay positive. Sorry, if anybody's just like, oh my God, they must be like so privileged over there, like saying it's a good time. I'm like, remember, if you just came in now, I said, it's horrible, it's painful, it's transformative, it's deep, it's fucked up. But because of that, it's a good time because we needed it. We need some really horrible medicine. It's like every crisis, you know, when, when you go through it, you'll see the worst, but you will come out reborn in a way there will be a new self coming out of all of this so exactly, exactly. i can't wait it's to see all a... of these beautiful souls coming out of this tragedy yeah this is this, way. is this is what we hope you know we can only really like i said we can only hope and like there is a show i did years ago that was that that was titled in post truth i appeal to the invisible so, which is kind of similar in a way, it's like when things are, when you, it's impossible to know. In a way, in post truth, it's like when it's impossible to know, I appeal to the invisible. Meaning, mm -hmm. I appeal to whatever kind of spirituality grounding, whatever you want to call this. You know, I'm not talking Abrahamic religions, mind you. But if that works for you, that's okay. But I mean, <laughs> whatever helps you, like, believe. Now it's like, please like keep your mind on the positive and try to like create room for your intuition for grounding to create so, and we're back. <laughs> yeah somebody was saying if you could repeat what you were saying okay i said a lot of things um i'm saying that now really is time to think about intrapolitics and nonopolitics Mm -hmm. So this is the this is what we can do. So by intrapolitics, I mean getting the process of deprogramming yourself, or getting to understand the self, getting to even understand what is a you. You know, scan yourself. Like be very frank with yourself and very kind. <laughs> Shed be the kind. layers and allow yourself to be. Allow yourself to be. Allow yourself to come out of this trance that we've been now. And be kind, 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 like empathy, empathy. Please, like when you see someone, try to, you know, check, check your privilege, check their, like, you know, see, see like what body you're in, what's your circumstance, what's the other person's circumstance, like always please, please understand, like take it deeper. And it's time for none, no politics. So what can you do today from, you know, even from your house on your Instagram, like, what can you do? You know, we can have none of political actions that can have maximum reach, you know, especially if you have loads of followers. For example, just mm -hmm. amplifying a message, you know, that can be something. But also, please be very practical because we are making 
this now, now is very important. Whatever we do now is how what's going to carve the next years of our lives, I think. Because mm-hmm. collapses are important. Like, we're living in a moment of collapse, and we, a collapse that we're waiting for. <laughs> like, of course, yeah. we, wasn't, yeah. we weren't waiting for a bunch of people that we care about away to spirit, living their bodies, you know. We weren't really thinking about that, but the system is collapsing. So it's time that we can get gather our energy, our thinking, and put forward, like take actions that mean the reality that you want. Don't try not to, mm-hmm. to repeat. Get out, out of the algorithmic behavior. Get out of repeating these fucking horrible oppressive patterns that we've been conditioned and programmed to do. Like, we have to do it now. And we're going to have a good time eventually. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. And try to stay positive. Like, this is a thing. Yeah. Like, right now as well, to go through, you know, just to, just to really care about yourself and others during this time and um, find your own spirituality, you know, whichever that is. Find yeah. your moments during the day and, and be more practical, as you said. You know, think about day by day rather than I mean it's great to have plans and to think of the future and to to create a future that it can be anything you want because there's no limits to what this could be after what we're living right now however I think being practical and think about the daily you know your day and your daily routine it it's been helping me and I I that's my thought focus on the now yeah. Focus on the now. Focus on the now, but not, not on the panic now. Yeah. <laughs> Focus on the now, but not on the panic now. Focus yeah. on the now, but not on the fear of oh, what the fuck, holy shit, I'm fucked now. Just like, mm-hmm. remember, you don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. There is a choice. Either you panic or you liberate yourself because nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah. No one knows. It's okay to not know. Nobody knows. And it's liberating. No one knows. So, yeah. And if there's That's anything the that people want to share or, you know, we're here. And I think it's important to know that we're here for each other. Um, yeah, for sure. Also, yeah. always DM me. I reply everyone. Huh? <laughs> I reply everybody. I chat with everyone. Send me DMs. Of course, if I don't have, you know, uh, always be respectful with your energy. Ah, this is another thing. Uh, that's an important practice right now. Always check on people regardless. And if you're going to talk about, if you're not feeling so well, or if you have a lot of fucked up shit on, check on the person you're about to talk to. Like, are you okay mm-hmm. to talk now? Like, there's some stuff going on. Because maybe mm-hmm. the person doesn't have so much energy. So true. we have to Very be mindful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, be mindful about others and in what yeah. kind of state people could be yeah absolutely exactly. yeah yeah i think you know it's it's a wonderful message that you've sent out to everyone and i very much enjoyed talking to you it's been yeah as i said it's been super refreshing and, and, <laughs> and the amazing things that you make and um and yourself um really really beautiful thank you I yeah, no, wish really you all great. the best and please really let's great. keep in touch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go and play with the filters right now. And let's I, be in touch. <laughs> my task is I wanna find ways for, for you guys as artists to to find ways for you to to to, to get something from the filters you know if facebook is not helping we'll have to do something we'll have to create some sort of actions i don't know what these are but if i hear anything yeah. i'll keep researching and if there's any tech people in the in the live watching please do give advice on that 
yeah we really need it right now like we need it more than ever before yeah and again stop by the creators profiles and artists that you like uh and 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 people that talk you know spokespeople and send send if you can send people money now send people money now like Mm -hmm. my paypal is up there and I am sharing in my highlights, I'm sharing PayPal's and Venmo's and cash apps from whoever comments on my posts or sends me a DM to create this um, um, chain of solidarity and mm-hmm. to end stigma of asking, you know, coming out with the fact that you, that we all don't know where the money's coming from. And um, so... There is plenty of people, there's plenty of PayPal addresses that you can find on my solidarity highlights that you can mm-hmm. send uh, any, you can share your economy to. Um, and, oh, and by the way, also, there will be an update. I have a, I had made a website last year called Brasileite Fund, which is to fund uh, Flint Brazilians, so femme, lesbian, intersex, non-binary and trans, obviously bi and pan, you know people mm-hmm. do you um, want to share the uh, yeah and the it's, it's, it's being updated now because i'm just gonna make a directory that's just like name insta handle and the paypal and then you can go research okay. the person because right. i want to put a lot of a lot a lot of people in there um but there right now there's a few people there Brazil. Yeah, that's the the website. Okay. And I will also put my PayPal. Yes, please do. Dot. And anything that we can share with each other, it means a lot. So. Yes. Right now, I think, you know, in in my situation, I would, I feel that I'm, I'm slightly concerned about going shopping. So I do hope to find some food. Yeah. (laughs) I I have a tip for you. I have a tip for you. Uh, Tell me. Yeah. Um, pay calls. Diving here. Okay. I just said solidarity in my highlights. Yeah. There's plenty yeah. of other PayPal's there of many other people. So the tip I have mm-hmm. for you is uh, there is an element of race. Don't forget that racism is still well alive in this culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, racism is here. So people are not going to chinese vietnamese markets supermarkets and they are also they don't think about going to their turkish corner shop well the turkish yeah, supermarket I to go to one of the so support that... so let's support the local shops because also these local shops have food like yeah, i see yeah, photos yeah. i see stuff from like people everywhere going to like tesco aldi edeka Reve. A Carrefour or whatever across the world and like oh my god there's no food and then you go like on my street I live shop. near yeah. I, I live li- near Zonenale there is two Turkish owned supermarkets next to me full of food <laughs> toilet paper everything <laughs> so remember think out of the box don't go to the big companies anymore yeah, we want a new world go to the little supermarkets no I think to be fair I've been <laughs> go, going go but to... unfortunately some of them have closed so I've yeah. tried some local shops but I will I will try again and yeah try that because so... then you will find you will find food and uh, stay but safe I need some, you know I went on Amazon earlier and 500 grams of pasta cost now 20 20 pounds that's, 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 this is why capitalism is shit. This guy, this is why it has to go. And this is why capitalism oh. is like, oh my God, let me get that filter back out again. This is why capitalism needs to fucking go. This is why this virus, that's what's wrong with the fucking world. Ventilator parts that can be made with a $1 in 3D printed being charged fucking 11,000 euros. Fuck this. Like, everybody come together. Shop in a small shop. Support the people. 
join collectives of CG printing, do whatever you can do for each other, share economy, share your wealth, share your skills, share your knowledge and share your love and empathy. I think more than money, you know, I feel that now more than ever is about, yeah, sharing skills and, and be useful for each other, you know, anything you yes, can give, anything empathy. you can share. Yes, empathy, you know, I think that's call, the most call, valuable call thing people. we can do and we can share. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. I, d I, d I wanted to thank you. Oh, hearts. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so. for for tonight and for talking to me and everyone that watched us live thank you pleasure thank you and um yeah let's let's stay connected and support each other as we can yes. it's really important we do that but yeah thank you i really 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 enjoyed it and um i yeah Let's keep in touch. Same right. touch. Thanks for everything you shared. It thank means, you. It's a lot. And thank you, lot. everyone that connected with us tonight. Yeah, thank you, everyone that's been here tonight. Yeah. See you. Thank you. Love. Stay, stay, stay connected. Please stay positive. Yeah. I'll do my best. And <laughs> yes. you do the same. Yeah, so do. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.